ask him. First of all, I'd like to thank the administration for its participation in the aging day with farmers market and seeing this situation. But um, more importantly, um, because um, I do volunteer at the World's First Senior Youth Center, and we do have quite a few concerns that we do also address with LTCA. One thing that comes up in our meetings is the need for more police presence in the mobile because some of the seniors do actually feel very unsafe in their inner mode because there's always people just hanging around. Not catching buses, not going out of town. They're just hanging around. And the same with the um, public square area. Because I know as long as the, um, the construction was going on during the bank property, mm -hmm. a lot of the refrag has decreased. But I'm starting. To, we're starting to see more of them where they're begging for money. They're um, harassed. They're just sitting there harassing people. And um, it would be appreciated if there could be more of a police presence where you know we see the officers. Because I know I spoke with Drew before about the parking, the parking situation down there, and I know that it has it has gotten better because um, we do actually see. The parking enforcement, but we don't see the police. Are there any hours in particular that are worse than others? Um, typically around lunchtime. But then there are some days where you know I I go early and um, they start gathering around nine o'clock, between eight and nine o'clock, before and sometimes even before the senior center opens. And so um, that's the one thing that I would ask for the security, and you guys can look it up. Um, I am on the board, the county board, county for um, the advisory board for aging. But that's one thing that we are truly, truly interested in is the safety of our members because they're not going safe. 